Is this true? Recently, Huawei has launched a fully liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging station, claiming to achieve a charging speed of 1 km per second, which is undoubtedly a heavy blow to Japanese hydrogen-powered cars. Japan has always considered hydrogen energy as part of its national strategy, believing it to be the best choice for future automobiles. However, with continuous innovation and breakthroughs in the Chinese electric vehicle sector, Japanese hydrogen-powered cars have encountered strong challenges in terms of charging speed, driving range, and cost. Japanese automaker Toyota has particularly favored hydrogen energy, and its leader, Akio Toyota, has repeatedly publicly criticized electric cars as primitive, and has developed multiple hydrogen-powered vehicles. In Toyota's vision, electric cars are destined to be defeated in the two major shortcomings of driving range and charging time. Just wait and see, Toyota secretly anticipates the day when hydrogen energy will overturn electric cars. Unexpectedly, the breakthrough in electric vehicle charging technology came faster than Japan had imagined. When Huawei introduced the 1 km per second liquid cooled fast charging technology, Toyota was astonished. This technology can charge an electric vehicle with a range of 200 km in just two minutes. The total charging time for an electric vehicle has been compressed to 20 minutes, and Huawei has stated that it will further reduce this to less than 10 minutes in the future. This is hitting Japan where it hurts, foreign media commented. Japan insists on developing hydrogen-powered cars, attempting to challenge China's dominant position in new energy vehicles. However, can Japan's hydrogen-powered cars really compete with Huawei's liquid-cooled charging technology? There are two reasons for Japan's choice of hydrogen-powered cars. One is due to considerations of energy security, and the other is due to its responsibility for environmental protection. Japan is an energy-poor country, heavily reliant on imported oil and natural gas. This reliance makes its energy supply vulnerable to external factors, such as political turmoil in the Middle East and U.S. sanctions. Therefore, Japan hopes to achieve energy self-sufficiency and reduce its dependence on external energy sources by developing hydrogen energy. Additionally, Japan is a country that highly values environmental protection. It has committed to achieving carbon neutrality by 2050, and for this, it needs to vigorously promote low-carbon or zero-carbon forms of energy, with hydrogen-powered cars being an important choice. The principle of hydrogen-powered cars involves converting hydrogen and oxygen into electricity through fuel cells to drive the vehicle, with the only emission being water. Therefore, it is considered a very clean energy source, however, Japan's choice of hydrogen-powered cars is not without its challenges. Firstly, the production and storage of hydrogen energy pose technical difficulties. Currently, the primary source of hydrogen gas is through extraction from natural gas or coal, a process that consumes a significant amount of energy and produces greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, contradicting the environmental goals of hydrogen energy. Additionally, Storing hydrogen gas is also problematic due to its low density, requiring high pressure or low temperature conditions for storage, thereby increasing costs and risks. Secondly, the infrastructure development for hydrogen energy is an economic challenge. Currently, Japan has very few hydrogen-powered cars, only a few thousand, and even fewer hydrogen refueling stations leading to an imbalance in supply and demand and affecting user experience. To expand the market for hydrogen-powered cars, Japan needs to invest significant funds in constructing more hydrogen refueling stations. However, this requires a sufficient user base to support it, creating a chicken-and-egg dilemma. Lastly, there is a psychological barrier in the social acceptance of hydrogen energy due to concerns about its flammability and explosiveness. Many people are worried about the safety of hydrogen-powered cars and are unwilling to try this new form of energy. Furthermore, 
The price of hydrogen-powered cars is also a barrier. Currently, the price of a hydrogen-powered car is around 5 million Japanese yen, equivalent to 300,000 renminbi, much higher than electric or hybrid cars of the same level, limiting the proliferation of hydrogen-powered cars. It is evident that Japan's path of choosing hydrogen-powered cars is filled with hardship and uncertainty. Its performance in the field of new energy vehicles has been unsatisfactory, with its market share and technological level lagging far behind China. It is even considered a countercurrent choice, demonstrating Japan's stubbornness and conservatism in this field. Compared to Japan's hydrogen powered cars, Huawei's liquid cooled charging technology demonstrates its technological advantage and innovation in the field of new energy vehicles. Huawei's liquid cooled charging technology has revolutionized the electric vehicle charging experience. The charging speed of electric vehicles has always been a significant factor limiting their development. Traditional electric vehicle charging stations are slow taking several hours or even an entire night to fully charge, causing inconvenience and affecting the proliferation of electric vehicles. To address this issue, Huawei introduced the fully liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging station in 2023, utilizing liquid cooling technology to effectively reduce the temperature during the charging process, improving charging efficiency and safety. Huawei claims that this charging station can achieve a charging speed of 1 km per second, meaning it only takes 1 minute to fully charge an electric vehicle's battery. This charging speed is much faster than Japan's hydrogen-powered car's 5-minute refueling, 850 km range. The emergence of Huawei's liquid-cooled charging technology undoubtedly poses the biggest threat to Japan's hydrogen-powered cars. It not only solves the issue of electric vehicle charging speed but also ensures the advantage of range and cost. It is reported that the cost of Huawei's liquid-cooled charging station is only one-tenth of Japan's hydrogen refueling station and is easier to build and maintain. It is expected that by the end of 2024, there will be over 100,000 Huawei liquid-cooled charging stations nationwide providing convenient charging services for electric vehicle users. The success of Huawei's liquid-cooled charging technology is a microcosm of the innovative development driving the Chinese electric vehicle industry. With strong support and encouragement from the Chinese government, the electric vehicle industry chain in China continues to improve, with constantly advancing technological levels and expanding market scales. China has not only achieved outstanding results in the complete vehicle manufacturing of electric cars, but also independently developed and produced key components such as batteries, motors, and controllers. For example, CATL, Contemporary Amperex Technology Company Limited, has released the first 4C superfast charging battery with a charging speed four times faster than ordinary batteries and a range of up to 400 kilometers. This type of battery is not only suitable for electric vehicles but can also be used in energy storage, aviation, aerospace, and other fields. Additionally, China is also researching and developing new solid-state electrolyte batteries, with comprehensive performance comparable to Japan's and lower costs than hydrogen energy. The advancement of these battery technologies provides strong impetus and assurance for the development of electric vehicles in China. However, hydrogen-powered cars from Japan have not gained widespread recognition and application in the market. By the end of 2023, global sales of hydrogen-powered cars were only 36,000 units with Japan accounting for more than half. In contrast, the sales of electric vehicles in China have reached 31 million units, accounting for 43% of the global market. The sales of Japan's hydrogen-powered cars are far behind those of domestically produced electric vehicles, indicating that the advantages of Japan's hydrogen-powered cars have not translated into market competitiveness. Of course, 
we cannot completely deny the value and prospects of Japan's hydrogen-powered cars. After all, hydrogen energy as a clean energy form still has its rationality and necessity, but the current technological level and market environment are not yet mature and friendly. In conclusion, Japan's hydrogen-powered cars face strong challenges from Chinese electric vehicles in terms of charging speed, range, and cost, especially with the emergence of Huawei's liquid-cooled charging technology, which diminishes the advantages of Japan's hydrogen-powered cars. The innovative development of the Chinese electric vehicle industry has positioned China as a leader in the global automotive market and has contributed to China's energy transformation and carbon neutrality goals. The future of Japan's hydrogen-powered cars remains to be tested by time and the market, but it seems that they have descended from their pedestal, overshadowed by Chinese electric vehicles.